a story that's been, well, yeah, I guess you could say interesting, an interesting story, uh, a crazy story from yesterday that came out, and it started off uh, with an a- with an AP email and quorum report and some others jumping on this, uh, thinking that it was going to be something that I think it turned out not to be. Uh, in a nutshell, a former political consultant, so-called political consultant, uh, Cindy Ortiz, filed a request for a protective order against State Senator Charles Perry. Uh, she now lives in Oklahoma. Uh, she has changed her profession from political consultant to stripper. And uh, she has accused the state senator of... Uh, really, among other things, uh, harassment and hacking into her computer, her cell phone, and placing, I believe, microphones throughout her house and other things dealing with hacking. Uh, so it's it's been something where the uh, apparently the Lubbock DA is looking into it. But uh, to tell us a little bit more about their side of the story and and how long this is actually been going on because this is not a recent development as a spokesman for texas state senator charles perry jordan berry jordan welcome to the show how are you i'm well chad thanks for having me on absolutely okay did did i basically get the story right here that uh, you know the, the main part of her complaint against senator perry is that he was hacking into her cell phone her computer placing microphones into her house and basically harassing her Yes, sir. That that is correct. Okay, and, and, but but this isn't new, right? No, sir. Um, she's made accusations um, against uh, Senator Perry and others, uh, dating as far back as I know, 2011. And so, why is this now picking up, Stanley? Because I, I've heard the same thing about the accusations. Why is this now picking up steam for her? Well, a lot of people have actually, especially in the Lubbock community, have been aware of the situation for the last few years. She's, uh, did ma- she sent out mass email blasts to people discussing it, making accusations, et cetera. But when media or even n- normal citizens have just simply called her and asked her on it, she's never been able to provide any type of details. Um, but when she started, um, alerting the Austin media earlier this week after sending out another email blast last week that went nowhere, the uh, Austin media was a lot quicker to want to stir a story up on it and ask questions later. Well, let, let me ask you this. Do you think that the news earlier in the week that, you know, some – uh, lawmakers have been privately videotaped, and there's supposedly some salacious material out there. Do you do you think that that kind of played into why the Austin media blew this up? Because even once the the Austin media blew this up to be something, once they noticed it was the the, the what, what you're telling us, uh, they they kind of backed off. Yeah, um, you know there there were certainly some in Austin media who were who were responsible and um, asked her questions before printing a story, and there were some who did the exact opposite. I think that there is validity to that probably fed into it, the whole secret recordings of members. But I think if it was a standalone story outside of that or standalone accusations, uh, the couple who wanted to run with it would have still run with it. Yeah, we're visiting with Jordan Berry, spokesman for State Senator Charles Perry. Now, there's been a protective order that has been issued. Uh, from what you know and what the Perry camp uh, knows, how was she able to get this protective order, and what are the steps that now the senator has to go through uh, with uh, with this protective order? It appears that she was able to receive the order uh, with ease. It doesn't. She never felt filled out a police report. Um, she just simply went to the court and asked for it. Um, and I can understand a court wanting to err on the side of caution and protect someone that they think may be a victim. But what you have now is someone who did it, and she turned around and sent it out to a bunch of people as uh, this, this validates uh, her accusations. So now we will go to court. We have an attorney in Oklahoma who will, who will deal with this for us, and we're going to just um, ask the judge to dismiss it. Based on a few things, uh, one, there's no jurisdiction. She, Charles, she, she's not accusing Senator Perry of going to Oklahoma. She's not even saying Charles has been in Oklahoma. 
So there's no reason that there should be something filed in Oklahoma. Uh, two, um, her accusations are outlandish. The idea that Charles hacked into her social media accounts or email accounts or placed microphones uh, in our house, things like that, they're outlandish. Uh, three, she shows no evidence whatsoever, and she's been pressed by those in the media uh, and others to show evidence, and she's refused to. What are the – will the senator file anything maybe against her, as uh, you, you brought up earlier and, and, and I've heard and, and others have heard, uh, she has been really going after him, uh, it seems like, for a while now, and, and, and you know, I, I don't know about if she's contacted or tried to contact any other members of his family or not, but is he going to try to put any kind of restraining order, or is, is there a thought process around that? Yes, that, that has to be something that um, he considers, and I know it is something he is considering and discussing with the attorney. Uh, we have to keep in mind he is a public official, and as a public official, you open yourself up some time to attacks, whether they're accurate or not. And so part of it goes with the job, but clearly this has gone too far, and this isn't a critique on his uh, political persuasion or even his style this is a false accusation that are at this point clearly malicious and meant to do harm part of the uh, news story that came out is, is that the lubbock district attorney is involved in this and that uh, actually uh senator perry has handed over information to the da what can you tell us about that and that part of the process yes going back the last couple of years as um, her accusations and correspondence uh, escalated Charles thought it was a wise thing to contact local authorities so that someone would have a record uh, of this going on in case this did escalate, hoping that it wouldn't, but in case it did. And so we're certainly thankful that um, it's well-documented and a lot of evidence has been turned over to the district attorney, and now the Texas Rangers are looking into this. Is there anything that she can be brought up on? Is that something that... that that the, the senator is wanting any you know kind of uh, criminal charges or is, is he just basically wanting to get uh, this to a point where she's not contacting him or his family uh, any longer chad it, it, it's difficult when, when someone's sick you want them to get treatment and you want them to get help we're hoping that people who are close to her or who know her or love her will now see this and try and get that help. We're also hoping the judge will recognize that and recommend some type of help. Whether or not there's true criminal charges that can be filed, that, that's not clear. Um, again, he's a public official. Uh, it, it's still not completely clear, but I think most normal uh, viewers just listening in will, will, will realize that she's gone too far and that it's completely malicious. Yeah, it, uh, it it certainly seems that way, and I, I think even to those who initially uh, ran with the story, the folks like Quorum Report, who you know, and the AP, uh, who sent out this blast, and, and really, uh, what what struck me is that uh, they were immediately trying to to take down uh, the senator, you know, bringing up his, his Christian values and things that he had said in the past, and. You know, as an elected official, you, you got to be uh, prepared for that. But uh, they were immediately jumping on it, and then they, they backed off. So it, it looks like this is one of those stories that I think everyone is realizing uh, what the end game is going to be here and, and, and what the, the aim was for uh, Cindy Ortiz to, to, to make these allegations. Uh, and, and it looks like that, you know, hopefully – uh, by the end of the week, you guys can get back to uh, conducting the business that y'all need to be doing uh, with the uh, with the legislative session counting down. Well, and Chad, I spent the last couple of days, any reporter who's wanted to discuss it, um, I've sat down with them and discussed in great detail uh, what I know of this. Uh, I offered the same thing to the Coalmy Court, and they thought it was interesting, but didn't take our side into account at all. Mm. And they were much more interested in the headline. But I would say issues with the Corn Report probably date back to Charles' first campaign in 2009 to where they do things like this. But they're not viewed as much as a news source, a, a, a reliable news source, as they are just viewed as a liberal-leaning blog or news aggregator. Jordan Berry, spokesman for uh, State Senator Charles Perry. I appreciate your time today, and uh, hopefully you all can focus on uh, things that actually uh, have to deal with uh, helping people in the state of Texas. Charles is very focused. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Jordan. Appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Bye.
All right, uh, that's Jordan Berry, spokesman for uh, Senator Charles Berry. It, it's just a, a crazy, it's a crazy ass story. I mean, let's just be honest; it, it really is. To think that Charles Perry, and I don't know how how well Charles Perry knows his way around a computer. Uh, but I just don't see Charles Perry as someone who's hacking in to someone's computer. Just to tell you a wild guess here. And I don't think Charles Perry's a guy who's going to go through and have microphones or put microphones inside someone's house, a stripper's house in Oklahoma. And this is what she says, talk to her. Hey, Cindy, did you take a crazy pill? I don't know if she's really crazy. I don't know if she's sick. Yeah, I, I, you know the 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 Perry camp. They've been very nice, saying that she needs help. Maybe she needs help. I don't know. She might just be someone who's trying to bring down Charles Perry. To be honest, there are people who are like that. So she could be sick, or she could just be someone who's trying to bring down Charles Perry for no other for no reason, other than you know maybe she was a uh, really bad political consultant, and she was told so. Maybe that was part of it. I don't know. I don't know what the relationship there is. Uh, Anyway.